May 13th of 2019 was when our sweet lead by lock was born. For months before this date, I had studied and learned everything I possibly could about cleft lip and palates. And when the day finally came, I just felt completely inadequate, completely unprepared and very nervous because I had no idea what was actually to come. We didn't know how bad his situation was gonna be and what struggles he personally would have to deal with. That first night, he stopped breathing and he had to be rushed out of our room immediately. They had to suction him out. He had a lot of saliva and milk built up in his throat. And so they had to immediately put him on oxygen because he was having a hard time breathing. And at that moment, my heart just stopped. And I thought to myself, well, here it goes. <laughs> this, is, this is the start. For the next nine days, he had to be in the NICU, which was very hard for a mother, being used to having him in my belly for 10 months, and then to feel helpless and not able to take care of him and give him the, the nutrition and everything that he needed. He was just perfect, absolutely perfect, even though he did look different than other newborns. And his case was a lot worse than we were expecting. He was still absolutely perfect, and we were so glad that he was finally here so that we could just get started and get going with helping him to succeed in this life. This is obviously just the start of our new adventure with our Levi and our new normal. If you know of anyone who has a cleft lip and palate baby, if you are experiencing this yourself, if you know of anybody who is experiencing this, please subscribe. If you are interested in watching future videos, I will be posting a new video about every week or two of my life with my cleft child and the different struggles that I've gone through and offering different tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. So 